we will discuss transradial approach for addressing internal carotid artery lesions. As you all know that internal carotid artery stenting is a very demanding intervention. A good amount of work has already been done through femoral route. However, less work has been done through transradial route. If you see the literature, Dr. Wu from Taiwan, Dr. Tiftman from United States and our own group from India have published data on internal carotid artery stenting to be done through radial route. We have an experience of working through contralateral transradial approach and other group have published their data working through ipsilateral transradial approach. Now we will show you how we address internal carotid artery lesions working through transradial approach. This is a case of left internal carotid artery stenting which was done through right transradial approach. You can see that the lesion is profiled and a 5F Simon 1 catheter was used to cannulate the left common carotid artery. Now you see another view of the same lesion. A 0.032 standard wire was negotiated through common carotid artery into external carotid artery. And now Simon 1 catheter was replaced by a 5F JL4 diagnostic catheter and a 6F pinnacle sheath 90 centimeter long was negotiated into the left common carotid artery using the telescopic technique. Now you see the telescopic technique is in progress. We have now put a 6F pinnacle sheath in situ. A 0.014 BMW PTCA guide wire is negotiated in the left internal carotid artery through the lesion. Now the distal protection device is deployed. This is another view. A PTA catheter is negotiated across the lesion now. Ballooning of the lesion is done now. This is the balloon result. We have now negotiated a self-expanding stent. Stent is now deployed. Post stent balloon dilatation is in progress. This is an excellent end result. And this is the another view showing the result. This is an example of right internal carotid artery stenting using left transradial approach. A 5F Simon 1 catheter was used and a 0.032 inch hydrophilic wire was negotiated into the right subclavian artery. The guide wire was then directed further into the brachial artery. Simon 1 catheter was negotiated over the wire and placed deep in the right subclavian artery. A 6F pinnacle sheath was negotiated using the telescopic technique over the Simon 1 catheter. The tip of pinnacle sheath was then placed in the right subclavian artery. Gentle pullback led to selective cannulation of right common carotid artery and demonstration of culprit lesion was done. The distal protection device was then deployed. The lesion was profiled once again. Stent placement in progress. Stent deployment done. Post stent balloon dilatation was then performed. See an excellent end result. This is another view showing the result. This is another case of right internal carotid artery stenting using right transradial approach. 
you can see that the patient has already undergone the left internal carotid artery stenting before the lesion is profiled with Simon 1 catheter. Over a 0.035 inch teromohydrophilic wire, Simon 1 catheter was negotiated and its tip was placed deep inside the right external carotid artery. A 0.035 inch teromohydrophilic wire was then replaced by a 0.035 inch super stiff wire. A 0.035 inch super stiff wire is seen in situ. Now a 6 set pinnacle sheath was negotiated and its tip was kept in the right common carotid artery below the lesion. Now a self expanding stent is being deployed. Post stent balloon dilatation is in progress. This is satisfactory end result.